Cloud providers are forcing you into their AI native cloud services, whether you like it or not. Let's talk about that. So over the last year, something subtle but massive has been happening in the background of every AI headline. The cloud itself is being rebuilt around generative AI. What used to be about cheap storage and flexible compute is now a race for GPUs, proprietary models, and all-in-one AI platforms. So what I'd like to do is take a look at how this shift is occurring and how it's going to affect enterprises out there as many of the cloud providers, including the major hyperscalers, Amazon, Microsoft, and Google, is shifting their focus to AI. While that's having a consequence in terms of their roadmap and the way in which they're rolling out cloud services, ultimately it means that AI native services are gonna to start to appear in front of the enterprises out there. And if they leverage these services, whether they're doing AI or not, then they're going to see a bit of lock-in. Number one, they're probably gonna to have to charge you more money for that, uh, whether you use the AI features or not. And number two, and probably the most concerning, it's going to lock you in. Cloud providers are reporting massive capital expenditures on GPUs and AI accelerators in their earnings calls, explicitly trying this spend in supporting generative AI demand. Also, major cloud platforms have redesigned their home home pages and top-level messaging to lead with AI services, models, co-pilots, AI platforms, rather than generic compute and storage. In fact, I would say they, they've turned into AI conferences, moving away from traditional cloud services, which basically used to be the discussion, into kind of an AI-only play. And I've really talked about and reInvent, 70% of their announcements were AI-focused and not necessarily focused on the traditional business. And that's a little concerning if you're not going to leverage AI uh, and you're just going to leverage the traditional services. Though instead of selling uh, generic compute and storage, cloud providers are racing to become AI platforms with GPUs, proprietary models, vector databases, and end-to-end -end machine learning ops built in. The problem is the majority of enterprises out there may not be on to AI yet, and it may be a few years, many years in some instances, before they're gonna be able to afford it. Now, what's happening now is that their infrastructure is changing beneath them. You know, that's where the next generation of computing is going to be, probably. But the big risk is AI platform lock-in, where your data models and tooling become so tightly coupled to one vendor that switching becomes nearly impossible, if not overly expensive. 